Food spotting is a geolocation application, and what that means in layman's terms is that your smartphone knows where you are at all times, whether it's an Android or an iPhone. And food spotting shows you the best dishes based on your physical location. So if you're in Paris or Tokyo or Rome or even Ethiopia, food spotting will work. It simply shows you photos of dishes other users have uploaded and recommended because we're an entirely positive platform. Most of our users will upload photos either through the website or through our iPhone app. Um, but it takes about 15 seconds on food spotting to snap a photo of a dish you like. And we recommend users take photos of dishes in good lighting uh, before they eat them. The idea is that you upload the photo to the mobile application, let's say if you're out at a restaurant, and you add one or two lines about what made it so spectacular. Um, so for instance, I'm at Mobofuku in New York City in the Lower East Side. I upload a photo of the pork buns, which incidentally is one of the most popular dishes on food spotting. And I give it a blue ribbon, which we call a nom on the platform. I add a line or two of text about why that pork bun was so delicious, and it's because David Chang invented it. And then I uh, share it on Twitter, on Facebook, on Foursquare, I can check in. We distribute the photo so that a lot of other people can see the rating and the recommendation. But ultimately, food spotting is a service so that our users can see an aggregate of the highest to lowest rated dishes based on where their physical location may be. Most people uh, tend to be passive browsers, which we expect. Um, you can't expect everybody to take the exact action you wish them to take on an iPhone application in particular. Um, but we have about 10,000 new photos of food uploaded to food spotting around the world each week. Um, areas of high concentration include Tokyo, Malaysia, Indonesia, outside of the U.S., but within the U.S., um, San Francisco, New York, L.A., not surprisingly, are the three big food enthusiast cities. Um, but other users tend to use it the way I do. I'm a huge traveler. Um, in the past six weeks, I've been in five cities, and no matter where I land, I immediately turn food spotting onto dishes I follow. And the beauty of the app is that you can go to a website before you travel, start all the dishes in the location that you're going to, and when you land, you switch your app to Wanted Only, and you can see how far away you are from all the dishes you've hoped to try. How does the imaging convey the reality of the food? So every user on food spotting is allotted 25 blue ribbons to start. And the more you participate in the platform, the more blue ribbons you get. We provide an aggregate of how many blue ribbons each dish has. So at a quick glance, because ultimately we're for the busy professional or the world traveler as much as we are for our moms in the Midwest. Um, but at a quick glance, you can see, ah, this dish, for instance, the cat's pastrami sandwich or the Shake Shack mushroom burger here in New York, have upwards of 200 blue ribbons. That probably designates that they're pretty tasty. And then you can click on the dish on the photo and read all of the user reviews of that dish. But because we're pretty insistent that food spotting is about entirely positive reviews and it being um, a welcoming platform for people who want to recommend great dishes, um, it's easy to find something you'll like just about anywhere. One of our pillar partnerships is with Zagat. We have an integration with their iPad and their iPhone application. Um, they leverage our API, so if you're using Food Spotting or Zagat and you'd like to see a Zagat rated restaurant with a photo of a dish, that's our partnership right there. It's pretty simple, but it's also really effective because I'm a lifelong subscriber to those guides and Zagat makes it easy for me to use their application to find great restaurants in, let's say, Boston, New York, San Francisco. Um, but also to find photos powered by food spotting of the dishes that are particularly tasty on our platform as well. And on food spotting, we have Zagat based guides to cities all across the US. So when you travel and you follow a particular Zagat guide, you can see their listing of the top 10 dishes in that city. Android is coming out as well as a private API. So uh, food spotting is growing. Uh, we are going to be much more than an iPhone app in the near future. You did an acquisition today. What's that? Tell us a little bit briefly about Small that. acquisition, yeah. Um, our friends at Eatly built a great community around people who love sharing foods on the web. And uh, all of the Eatly developers are now at Foursquare, which is a company we're very close to because we leverage um, the Foursquare integration. Of course, we push check-ins to Foursquare on food spotting. So it's all within the family, but um, today food spotting acquired Eatly which means that their community ideally will be migrating over to food spotting in the coming weeks.